Hi, I'm Tony Buckley. I'm introducing you to my book, Behind a Velvet Light Trap. It's a filmmaker's journey from Cine Sound to Cannes, Cine Sound, the old newsreel company. It's my 60 years in the Australian film industry, from boyhood of going to the Saturday matinees with my mother, seeing my first big picture palace, then meeting Raymond Longford, our great Australian film pioneer, here on location with On Our Selection. Frank Hurley with his hand-coloured film. It's a book I hope you'll enjoy because it's all about Australian film and my small part in it. I went overseas for a while to Canada, London and all the places we used to go to in the 1950s. Back to Sydney Sound and probably our biggest scoop, The Beatles Newsreel. Then to locations for feature films, Age of Consent being my first with the great master Michael Powell and of course his star James Mason who was an illustrator as well as an actor. Then came Adam's Woman with Bo Bridges and John Mills and of course Ted Kotcheff's famous Wake and Fright which I had the privilege of editing. Then of course Nureyev and the ballet Don Quixote filmed in Melbourne at the Essendon Aerodrome. It was one of the great experiences in film editing in my career. Then I became a producer making Caddy with Donald Crombie in 1975 and we opened the Pitt Centre in Sydney where three Australian films were showing at the one time. And once again, Michael Powell appeared and came to location. Then followed The Irishman in Charters Towers, far north Queensland, followed by Jim Sharman's production of The Night the Prowler, where Patrick White became a constant visitor to the set. He wanted to be in movies. Elizabeth Alexander played The Killing of Angel Street, quickly followed by Kitty and the Bagman, where Prime Minister Fraser and Treasurer John Howard visited set. Then followed Ray Lawrence's extraordinary film Bliss, which was in competition at Cannes. Moving out of feature films, I moved into television with The Harp in the South, Ruth Park's wonderful novels, followed by The Heroes and Heroes 2, and then Heroes Mountain. During the years, there's been a mixture of television and feature films. Tracy Moffat's The Devil, which we filmed up at Charleville. Then, of course, Anna Reeves' delightful Oyster Farmer, but probably the highlight of the period was Joan Sutherland and Leo McKern in On Our Selection, which we filmed in Braidwood, New South Wales. All of this is in Behind a Velvet Light Trap, which I hope you'll enjoy, and it's now available online from www.buckleyfilms.com.